the way I got into music, lessons in second grade, played trumpet in fourth grade because my father thought that would be cool for me to play trumpet. And then when I got to sixth grade, I had a band director named Lee Stevens who was totally turned it around for me. He was inspired me to get into listening to music. I was getting into jazz because I had a neighbor who gave me five record albums. I just wore those out. At a certain point, I knew that music was my thing. It wasn't really until high school that I got into piano. I wanted to be a composer, so I started writing some really, you know, basic types of things. I would go to the gigs in Baltimore, places like The Closet, Sportsman's Lounge, the New Haven Lounge, go to DC and go to the One Step Down. And I hadn't had a lot of instruction in jazz, but I'd done a lot of listening. I just would ask people questions and listen to music and transcribe solos. The piano just seemed to be easier than trumpet. I learned two songs, Stable Mates by Benny Golson and uh, Bolivia by Cedar Walton. I would play one of those tunes and people thought I was a lot better than I actually was. Like if they had only asked for like, you know, Misty or something, they'd be like, oh, you don't know anything. Ended up getting a gig at a hotel, a saxophone player named Phil Berlin and a bass player named Larry Kindling, and they would just yell at me every time I messed up. That's how I learned to play jazz piano, just playing that gig. At a certain point, I started to look into teaching more. I do really believe in education and, and jazz particularly. We have to make sure that we have people to replace us, how the music is gonna survive. The trio, uh, Robert Rodriguez on bass and Dave Bryant on drums. Playing with them can be a better vehicle for teaching, but I also get inspired from them. It's sort of the idea of mentorship in a very organic way. I don't want it to be an academic exercise. I've played with musicians who played with Miles Davis. My experience of being in New York and playing with some of the older legends and bringing their perspective, my connection with them is a connection with Miles and the, the real history. It's just easier for me to work with them and, and give them as much information as possible. I've had a, a lot of really, really great students who've gone on to making a name for themselves. Nicole Glover is now kind of like the hottest thing in New York. Nicole McCabe, Jimmy Harrod, who almost won America's Got Talent. Being here 12 years, I feel like I've sort of made it work for me with Portland State and it's kind of a calling. It's like a higher, you know, it's a noble, a noble profession. I think that just the way things turned out is what it was meant to be and that's kind of where I'm at. Thank <laughs> you.